Hey, what's up, guys? This is MPFSU, and right now we're checking out NCAA 2014. Uh, it's like Christmas all over again. I'm um, be playing as uh, Ohio State versus Michigan. Um, pretty much my first game playing it, so I apologize if it's not going to be huge offense. I mean, they don't give you a lot of minutes uh, per quarter. But there's a lot of few interesting things I like about the game so far that I saw that was pretty cool. Um, and so we're just going to go through this uh, demo here, The me playing Michigan. I'm playing Ohio State versus Michigan. I'm checking out the overalls. Um, my mind is kind of frazzled right now. I can't remember the players' real names. Uh, so I apologize for that as well because <laughs> um, it's been, just been a long day. But either way. Um, definitely a fun game, and and I'm really excited for the uh, new version of the game. So I wanted to, you know, sh share with you guys a demo, and um, hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, what we're gonna do is just gonna talk a little bit about what I see in the game, and because um, it's the first time I'm watching the replay of it, and you know, kind of get some ideas because there's no instant replay in it, so I can't really go. Uh, back and you know check things that way so this will be the best way to kind of go over things and you know go to a little detail of what I'm seeing on the screen as we're playing um, I am playing on the PS3 uh, my Xbox went down as I was telling some telling you guys in a, a previous video of NCAA so um, this is on, the demo is on the PS3 uh, graphics look pretty good it you know ran pretty smooth so no complaints there. Technically, it seems like it's very polished. Um, this is towards the end of the, the generation for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. So this is supposed to be the pinnacle of what they accomplished over the generation of consoles. And as you, you know, I really enjoyed 2013. It's probably my favorite game, favorite uh, NCAA, uh, right there, up there with 2004. Uh, maybe even has a slighter edge in 2004 because it is. Uh, you know, up to date for, you know, that 2004 was on previous generation of consoles. So, um, so let's get into it. As you can see here, um, the, the kick meter is pretty much still the same. They haven't changed that. Uh, you know, you can still pretty much kick the ball out of, out of the end zone if you have a pretty good kicker. Um, what I did notice right off the bat um, when I was looking at the adjustments um there is no impact blocking adjustment for the offense and i know i pretty much spammed the crap out of that when it was available and it was pretty much no penalty for it so i guess they just removed it all together um i like the new uh, interaction between the offensive line and defensive line it seems like i can do a little bit more things i have a little bit more control over my guy um here i'm in a a zone and that's a pretty good jam there but they're still able to throw the pass. He was pretty accurate. I think that's what Tevin Garner or Kevin Garner. I actually I apologize if I screw the names up, but um, I normally know these names. I'm a huge college football fan. Um, this, you know, I'm just trying some things out here. This is another just to see how the coverage would be. I have a linebacker on a wide receiver. They take advantage of that. I was expecting kind of a run, I guess, there at that point. But they threw the ball, and it was you know good of the computer to recognize the mismatch and and complete you know and complete a pass there. That was pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I know this is I'm playing on this on Heisman. Uh, I always play NCAA on Heisman. That's just the way I play. I don't play on any other level because uh, I want to get the you know the maximum amount of challenge, and it helps you learn the game and nuances of the game. So when you do go online to play uh you know your your experience is, is a lot easier um and they're just moving the ball um, kevin gardner is just ripping ripping us apart right now so we'll see if i can pull off a stop here i think i do um and, but i like it the you know michigan is looks like they're running you know they're running their thing um pretty much a pro style offense and I mean, I, I really like the fact that that's what they're doing. They're they're really establishing the run game, mixing some things up, get me to think about it a little bit. And I don't normally post a whole lot on the computer because I don't play. You know, I normally play Dynasty, play online with my friends. So 
not a real lot of computer posting I do, but um, uh, this is the demo, so can't go online to play. So here we we have so have it. So uh, yeah, it looks like we got to stop right there because I was expecting the run. And this down, I'm expecting them to run again. They do something a bit interesting right here. And um, I'm flipping the play just to get the correct alignment. And they flip it to the weak side, which is pretty cool. I was like, man, that was a nice mix-up. But I, my, and I saw how my uh, linebacker reacted there. Uh, he was caught, he was caught out in space. But he, he I was, and I, I, I pretty much screwed him up on the play because I went to make the tackle and I totally whiffed. But luckily, my defense was there to corral the guy. Okay, so we held him to a field goal right here. Michigan is looking and to go I'm pretty much excited at this point because now I get to see what the offense is like. Um, the thing with me in NCAA is I st tend to spend a lot of time learning the offense because I'm pretty much a defensive guy. So defense sort of comes natural when playing these games because I can be more reaction. And, you know, like like you saw me flip the plays and align my dudes correctly and those kind of things there and kind of get the right kind of defensive uh, situation I want. But offense is where I normally struggle. And so I always want to work on that first. And so I'm excited to see what little things they have to help me out. And um, there's a few things. The first thing, and, and, you know, I wanted to check out the read option because that was like bread and butter on 2013. A lot of people use it. I mean, a lot of people use it in college in real life, so it is what it is. But look how they have the R above the guy's head, so you know who exactly who you're reading, um, which I already knew that's who I was reading. But, it, you know, it helps those uh, players that maybe don't understand that concept. Um, there's a new, another thing that they show here, too, and you'll see here in a little bit, where um, they also show you the pitch man when you're running the option with the, uh, another uh, runner involved and that's also pretty cool and they also switch up who you read it's not always the DN sometimes it's the D tackle sometimes it's the linebacker and I think that it's things I've been telling people before that don't quite didn't quite get it um, you know uh, one of the users that I play with uh, fear wicked he knows this style of offense in and out and he understands who you're supposed to read and who you're not supposed to read and he Pretty effective with the thing here. Oh, man, I throw up interception and just did not see that safety. Um, just not, like I said, I'm not the greatest at offense. And it's showing right now, right there, where I threw a pick there. Um, just didn't even look for the safety in that in that situation. But it's nice to see that the computer's actually playing some decent coverage, um, which is a good thing. So they're trying to spread us out here. I'm just letting them throw underneath because that's what I'm going to give up, you know, playing zone. That's sort of my style of defense. I'll give up some short stuff, you know, try to take away the deep ball, make somebody, you know, drive the length of the field and don't make mistakes, which Gardner is not making any mistakes so far. Typical computer quarterback <laughs> does, don't, never makes mistakes. But, uh, you know, you can kind of force them sometimes. But um, here I'm, same thing, just testing some things out. They're actually running here, and that was actually a pretty good run. What I didn't like right there is he did a juke, but he probably could have just ran straight in for a touchdown. Um, the computer is notorious for doing more than what they need to do. Um, he could have just ran straight. He decided to do one more little cut there. He could have just ran straight and probably broke the tackle by just running straight to the end zone. But uh, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, still a nice run, though. Nice run. He got it to the He popped it, bounced it to the outside pretty nicely. Um, so I don't know who that running back is. Um, can't think of his name right now, but he must have some pretty decent agility. And ooh, look how he just steamrolls the linebacker right there for Ohio State. That is a uh, pretty sick animation right there. Uh, he, he just lowered the shoulder down and knocked dude right on his bottom. All right, so I'm trying to do a goal line stand here, but I'm pretty much thinking the way they're pushing my guys around that we're not going to stop them. Um, and, yep, sure enough, touchdown. So, so far, liking that Michigan is actually mixing their play calling up, doing a lot of different things. They're running the ball. They're passing the ball. Um, definitely seems like the play calling has been ramped up a little bit, but, this, like again, this is a short demo. So, you know, 
won't get a full idea of what the play calling is, which is my pet peeve of NCAAs of the past. Um, and it, I mean, for, since forever, it's been the computer's play calling because the computer needs to be competitive, especially if you're playing online dynasty because you're going to spend most of your games playing the CPU. So you want you know to have some good games versus the CPU as well, uh, and not be bored to death. Uh, so here we go again, more read option. Now this is shows you the linebacker. So I have to read that linebacker there, and I read him correctly there on that play. Thought I'd be able to pop a big game there, but I mean the first down is a first down. So I'm doing a little no huddle here, you know, trying to keep with the Ohio State realness. And um, and yeah, I think I probably make another mistake here. Do I? I don't, I don't remember if I do. Yep. Oh, he knocks it down. But yeah, the safety was back there, clearly covering it again. Uh, assume that dude was pretty good because he he I think he gave me problems the whole game. Yeah, I'm just checking out some more. And I, I mean, that's pretty much what I was, you know, off is trying to see what the running game is going to be. I like with Ohio State since I have to use their playbook. Um, here it is, another with the DN. Read correctly on that again. And they're wanting to take my running back out of the game. But the, the thing is, if you're able to get the ball outside, eventually most teams, even users, will want to respect that quarterback. And then that's where you get the dive game going which um, I'm trying to do here since I'm trying to get him the ball. And sure enough, good open lane, and he his first carry is for nine yards. Yep, one rush, nine yards. Uh, just checking out some other things here. So this is the option. So I'm bringing – oh, this would be cool, I think, here. Yep, there it is. Now, you see the P back there? That shows you who who has the pitch man right now. So that's who you need to be looking for coming down to pitch. And since you already know that you can anticipate it, bam. Our, you know, the pitches look a lot smoother. Everything runs a lot smoother with that option. And you'll see it in another play right here that I run where the pitch man is a little bit closer and I'm able to pitch it earlier. Um, mainly because the pitch man is closer. See how where the pitch man is at? I already know he's there. I know who has me. So I read the first guy. Here comes the pitch guy. Bam. Look at that. I mean, that is the option in motion. I can't believe that that was messing us up all along in an option not knowing who the pitch man was. Uh, so you know how to react properly. Um, and see how it's switching? It's switching who the pitch man is, who you have to read. And that is probably the most impressive thing from what I'm seeing there. So I run a little play action here because I'm getting the running game going. And... Um, yeah, so we got a good drive going here, you know, um, try to get some points. But uh, definitely liking what I'm seeing with the variety of the read option stuff. They've added so much read option and so much stuff, run run ability out of the shotgun. Um, I'm, just one, I'm just wondering what Florida State's playbook will be like. I hope they added some new plays for that, too. So it's like Ohio State has gotten a good bit of nice plays. Um, I mean, a whole bunch of different stuff here. You got Y lead, read option. Um, that's just uh, just ridiculous right there. And, you know, so I'm just trying to I'll see what the different things, see what I can do. This is just a standard run, run play, uh, blocking, you know. And, uh, and he carries the ball for a nice game. Hand it off to the half back there. And, and just trying to score before the half here. And so right here, I think I'll go to my little patented red zone, which slants are awesome in red zone. Uh, short passes, it's very quick, and it's difficult to defend in the red zone, um, especially if you're going to play zone or anything like that. Because uh, if you play man, you know, if you play man down here, or zone, it could beat mainly both of those because it's just, although it's, it's a short amount of field to cover, if you can spread them out, um, you can get some uh, a pretty nice players. So here is this quick slant, um, which they are tightly in, 
But those other guys, they come up. They don't because there's just nobody to cover. So they come up, and that yeah, dude's just wide open. So that's a touchdown for Ohio State. Trying to beat up on Michigan. Have a few uh, buddies that are Michigan fans. So that's why I wanted to play this game first. Uh, kind of try to beat up on Michigan, see if I can here. It's a good pass. Um, can't even think of the Ohio State's quarterback name. This guy is <laughs> he's a popular player too. That's 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 why I'm just, you know, a little frazzled today, so um and he tacks on the extra point. A nice so yeah, NCAA man, it's it's almost here. I mean we're about a month out now. And um and I'm probably gonna pick this game up for the PS3. Uh, I don't have an Xbox, so I definitely got to have my NCAA. Forget about returning wow. this one. I kicked it out of bounds again. So they only have a few seconds left. So I'm going to see how they do with these 18 seconds, which is, you know, pretty, you know, you want to see what the AI is going to do as far as their play calling, what they decide to do, and um, give you some ideas of what maybe it may be like once the game comes out. Some ideas. Uh, so there, there we go. They're four wide. They're going to try to pass the ball. Um, and I was in the cover four. He takes off. Uh, that's pretty cool there. Everybody's covered. He just takes off. Um, what, I, what I want really, way. I don't want him to throw the ball. I mean, shoot. I want him to run, him to run the time out the clock. So, running is fine. Passing is not. Still playing uh, cover three. They throw a screen, and on here, they, they call the screen, you know, which is pretty cool, too. They you'll him all call the screen out, which is pretty nice, so. Definitely something. Definitely adds to a little bit of the overall presentation of the game and polish. That's a little bit of man cover, too. The infamous 2013. And that dude just completely drops the ball. The guy has a chance to interception and, and has stone hands. Which is classic for cornerbacks in NCAA 13. Unless, of course, you're that safety that picked me off. His hands aren't sticky. He doesn't drop anything, apparently. So, let's see. So, we have number... And he just goes deep and he throws it to pretty much no one. Which is, that was pretty... Interesting within the seven. I don't know if it was because of the pressure or he just decided to just get rid of it and go into the halftime um, with the lead. Makes sense. So we are in the second half. Uh, this video is pretty much 30 minutes long, but I, you know, I wanted to get the full, give you guys the full view of NCAA and what's been going on with it and, can be easily and what the developers sure. have done they have to be with this new iteration. So that was a nice block. So that guy made an impact block to open that hole up without me even having to have impact box on. But that dude pretty much knocked that dude out the way for me there. So I have this, well, I'm seeing I got this play set up, so I'm calling this, and I'm thinking, okay, so I should have a nice play here. This is set up. But nope, set up plays does not mean easy opportunity anymore, as you will see here. Um, don't see the safety again, same guy, picks me off. He doesn't have brick hands, that sucks. But yeah, that's a huge play for Michigan right there. Well, he was facing a and not a good play for the Ohio State no Buckeyes. Being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. And it's eating me up that I don't, I can't think of what Ohio State's quarterback's name is right now. Um, please put it in the post in the description or the comments below. If, I'm posting in the comments below, below if you um you know the quarterback's name for Ohio State because it slips my Michigan mind right now. But. Um, yeah, here's a draw play from Michigan. They're, they're classic pro style right now. I mean, I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing. It, it, you know, they're methodical with what they're doing, but they're gaining yards, and and that's pretty cool. You like to see the computer be a little methodical sometimes and not just calling the same dumb plays over and over. 
So we got a little eye formation here. Play action. Now, why my guy doesn't pick that off? You know, it's it's like three dudes, and Garner drops it in like like a like it's inside a bucket right there, which is that's just not fair. But it is what it is. Whatever. This is Michigan. We playing at home. They getting some home cooking right now. It's all good. And I'm trying to match up with him pretty well. Another, some more play action. This time we're ready for it. Look at that double. I think he still caught that ball in double coverage. It's just crazy. Doesn't even make sense. That's like my best cornerback there. Interesting. But I'll stop him, which is good. I like stops. You know, you don't always have to get turnovers. Stops are, are just as good. Um, I mean, turnovers are, are huge, but, you know, stop. You would still, if you get a stop, that's great. That's what you want. Not for the team to move the ball or score or get a first down. So, but that was uh, another nice play by Gardner again. She's having a pretty good game, it looks like. I mean, he is an impact player, so you expect him that to be pretty decent. And it looks like he's living up to the billing. Now, that, I don't know what was going on there, but, you know, once again, it's my linebacker, so, you know, I can't expect too much from him in pass coverage. Um, so it is what it is, but, you know, would have liked to see him at least try to knock the ball down. That would have been nice. Um... I think he kind of redeems himself right here. But at this time, I'm in zone. So, you know, ideal linebackers play a lot better in zone than they do in man coverage. Remember that. So you want to keep them, or at least if you have pass coverage type linebackers, they're going to be pretty good in zone coverage. Um, so this time, we're bringing some pressure. And that time, he actually does something there. This time, he reacts, and he knocks the ball down, which I would like my linebackers to do. So, and this, you know, I'm playing just a 4-3 under. That's pretty much the defense I like. It was my favorite defense in 13. It looks like it may be, minor, uh, minus some adjustments, it may be still my favorite defense in 14. Um, so far, as of when I'm playing the demo, looks like it'll still be a pretty decent defense to to base out of. So, um, now let's see. Uh, they're kicking a field goal. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. And I was hoping to see if I can block this one, but no, no cigar there. No blocks still. Guys just putting their hands up, going through the motions. That's about it. And he got all of this one. Great kick. But definitely want to get back on the field, especially after throwing a pick. See if we can actually do something and get into the end zone here. Um, I decided to go into this formation, which... Um, there's still plenty of time to don't know really why. It doesn't here. seem like a really great one. Um, but, I, you know, the pitch man is that deep. That's a pretty good thing there. So, just have to read the DN. He bites. But this time the linebacker comes in and scoops, scoops me up. Um, which is a, a little adjustment that I was not expecting. So, it's not always going to be. You still have to pay attention. It's not just going to be the guy that's initially labeled as the guy you need to read. But um, you still have to pay a little bit more attention still. Brilliant work by both defenses through three. Which I found out right there. Who can open it up? In the fourth quarter, whoever does has and got a great chance to win. Michigan leads it 13-7. Trying to throw another pass play here. Less than three minutes in the game. Uh, screen. Yeah, I was trying out the screen. Let's see what the screen was like. Looks like the, you know, I, I had problems with the screen before where the ball would hit the dude in the helmet. It would hit the dirt. Uh, just seemed, didn't run very smooth in 13 uh, one of the small minor issues, the most of the issues that I have with 2013 were really nitpicky. 
because um, screen worked beautifully. It just didn't work all the time. You would see some some bugs appear there. I see this thing. I don't know exactly what this is. I need to find out what that is. It just it seems like it's blocking assignments and how well they're gonna block. Um, I like this throw in a row under there right there. That was pretty nice. Uh, being that it's fourth, the fourth quarter, two minutes ago, decided to go for it right here. I mean, no brainer. I'm trying to tie or win the game. And uh, what was interesting right here is the defense they come out in. Uh, they're looking like they're geared up to stop the run. It's a little spread, and I have to read the D tackle, which is weird. And I. I think I made the right read. I'm not even sure. He was playing us both seemed like he just whiffed on the tackle. He probably could have tackled me. Um, but we got pretty lucky there, I guess. Uh, it looks like he was slow reading every slow play in the play. So uh, going into no huddle here. And um, so I noticed they're jamming my wide receivers here. So it doesn't, I'm thinking I might have, don't have a lot of options. But I notice he pops open, so they're, they're like in a cover two zone. I noticed that at the end. I like that when I threw the ball, it seemed like I had I was able to control my wide receiver in that. And I noticed some a lot of people were complaining about controlling their wide receiver, but I felt like I had enough time even on that that hitch route to get my wide receiver and get him upfield. So I don't know what that blocking stuff is. I definitely have to look and see what that is. Um, or at least go online and see if anybody knows what that is. Because I don't have a clue. If you know what it is, you know, just get posted in the uh, comments below. Let me know. Um, this was a mistake of mine. I had a wide receiver running wide open on the right side. And I completely missed him. Uh, which would have been uh, probably a huge play. Maybe even a touchdown. Uh, but, you know, like I said before, I'm not the greatest on offense. Don't claim to be. I uh, do a lot better on defense, and offense is always a learning curve for me with these when NCAA AA comes out. So just have to spend time in the lab and figure some things out. But um, definitely liking what I'm seeing here so far. I'm going to try out uh, Alabama next. I'm not going to post as long as a video with them. Um, just some short clips, maybe, you know, trim it down to about 15 minutes. Um, now, what I like this part of and this, this is what I figured out here by just playing. Now, this little short hitch is actually a pretty decent play to get you about six or seven yards if the guy is playing off. Um, it's a trade-off because now the longer, the as you see, this other hitch goes to the inside. And the other one went to the outside. So you, you got to pay attention of which one you're doing and how the cornerback is playing your wide receiver now. Because if they're playing him to the out, shading to the outside, then inside would be good. If he's shading him to the outside, then outside, as he was shading him to the inside. And so he was ready to pick that button off. And I, I don't know if you could change I, I guess got something out to read if you could change how they shade the wide receivers now um it was pretty interesting to see that although he was playing off he was still able to cover that because he, it was a play to the inside which um very surprising to me but uh cool nonetheless i threw an exception because of it learning experience is like i said learning offense figuring out what works with the offense and how the defense reacts to things also helps you on defense as well too so you know, so now I got an idea that, hey, I, you know, if a guy's trying to just throw, you know, hitches here and there, he has to pay attention to what type of play he's calling because um, you can you could take that away. So that that's pretty cool. Um, so pretty much what they're going to do here is they're just going to they're going to just grind the game out. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Um, if you like what you're seeing here and yeah, you definitely want to see more videos here, I'll definitely be posting up some videos of the other teams and i'm gonna get more in depth with the demo because i really truly love ncaa and i, I you know it's 
it is my favorite game out of all the games I do play. Um, so I'll definitely be posting and going some more in depth with it. And, you know, if you want to see some more of that stuff, just subscribe to my channel. Uh, I do post a lot of other different videos as well for other games, but um, NCAA coverage will be in full effect here as well. So you can definitely check that out here. I go into a lot of detail with my games and then I uh, also record Dynasty games, so if you want to check those Dynasty games out um, that I play online against uh, other uh, users, um, not necessarily computer, I don't really record computer uh, Dynasty games, but uh, user Dynasty games I definitely record, so uh, if you want to check that out, you know, subscribe to my channel, you know, like my videos, uh, you know, you can make a comment if you would like, if you want to dislike, that's fine too, uh, everybody's entitled to their opinion. And so that is it. This is MPFSU. I'm signing off, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.